All right, now we're moving on to doing the rattle kit repair on these splines. So pretty much the ECS, when you buy uh, the Vanos repair kit, just the whole thing, they send you tools to do this current job as well. They send you this block, you put it into some, you tighten it with some vice grips. Okay. It's metal, so don't be afraid to tighten it. Tighten it pretty hard. And then these splines, these shafts, you go in them, okay? They slide right in perfectly. They also give you this tool right here that goes on, on the other end of the um, of a impact. Uh, pretty much these are supposed to go in directly into the holes, those top two holes right there you see on the splines. You go into that and you unscrew it, um, counterclockwise, obviously. Make sure that it's seated in all the way and you get a nice fit on, fitment on them and you just unscrew them. You're gonna want to wipe down everything from here because we got some dirt in there and debris. While it's unscrewed, take the other one and do the exact same procedure. Once you open this up, this whole spline assembly, right? Take everything out of it in the same order that it comes out with. For us to move on in this process, we're gonna be replacing this whole piece right here, right? This kit came with brand new ones right there. We're gonna be replacing these two washers. There used to be old thread lock in there. You wanna clean all that out. Make sure it's all clean out of every little area. And we'll get back to that real quick. This is the order you wanna follow. Let's put this ring in first. And just drop that in. Then the washer and this bearing. Then you wanna put this guy back in, clean him up. Twist him good. Put this guy back in. Put this other washer back in. We're not gonna put the thread lock yet, just cause we wanna make sure it doesn't bind or get stuck on anything inside itself, you know? But just give it a couple twisties back and forth. See if it's binding or getting stuck anywhere. It's not, move it around a little bit. No play, cool. We wanna undo this now, again in order for us to put some, oop, some thread lock. You're gonna want to use red thread lock on this. Pick one of these up in any auto parts store. All around, you know what I mean? Just put it back in. Easy, yes. There we go. Give it a couple half twists, you know, just to get in there nice and tight. So after you get it all tightened, just want to do pretty much the exact same procedure on the other side. We're moving on to the Vanos now, the Vanos seals, okay? First off, you want to take your Vanos, clean it up as best as you can. Another side note, since my uh, camshaft hub went out and it was bad, I've inspected this and we don't need to uh, replace our oil pump disc. Typically one of two things goes out, either the oil pump disc or um, the hub. In our case it's the hub, and the hub I test fitted it prior and it fits really nice and snug into these holes right here and so it doesn't move around anywhere which means it's gonna have a nice tight seal all around we're gonna be removing these front caps take a five mil hex tool right you're gonna want to undo these caps they're gonna be a little bit difficult to take off but just use a plastic prying tool to remove them and you should be fine oh there we go starting to loose okay Get in under there. All right, so it's a little bit of a struggle. You're gonna probably need somebody else to help you out with. I had Val help me. Val, show yourself. You haven't even showed yourself yet, dude. Oh yeah. That's Val, if you don't know, dude, he's the cameraman. He's got a big turbo coming up ahead, dude. Ooh, <laughs> it's gonna be nice. Anyway, we're, we're gonna be replacing the piston seals now. So, to push the piston out, you're gonna have to use it from the back, actually. Oh, you push it out from the back and it's gonna pop right out. Kind of like, there we go. Pops right out. Clean everything up, okay? Clean it all up. Dry as much as you can. This is a kit from ECS, right? To continue on with it, just take a little blade, okay? And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna just do a little cross cut, right? Along this, boom. Get that first layer. The first layer is like this Teflon seal. As you can see, it's like a it's like a harder compound, and then the bottom one is that is the O-ring. You could cut that as well. Be careful with your fingers. There we are. Oh, should we tell them about the new M3? Oh, <laughs> guys. I mean, I got the O-ring out. 
that's good news. But yeah, we do have another M3. If you're not familiar with our channel, I guess this is a good time to plug, right? Yep. Um, hold on, hold on. Oh, What's oh. explain to the new viewers? The ones, the 86 subscribers that we have currently, as this video is going up, they already know that we have a V10 getting built right around there. We're just waiting for a bunch of parts to come in. That V10 is going to be going into an M3. Originally, the plan was to make it go into this M3. It's an 06. It's manual. It's very nice. But as you can see, we got another one. That is going to be the donor car for the V10. Okay. This one is SMG, which, regardless, I'm not going to need to have a manual transmission waiting for the V10 anyway. Ooh. It's clean. Mm. There's some stuff done to it, but mm -hmm. I mean, half this Ooh. is going to be replaced or removed. The CSL bumper I'm probably going to keep. It's nice. But yeah, stay tuned for more, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's get back to the seals for now. <laughs> Since this kit wasn't really good at labeling uh, which seal goes where, you want to kind of take the same size seals and replace them with those. That's how I would do it. Yep, so these look like they're going to be fine. Okay, so first off, Make sure they're clean. Put the O-ring back on, okay? Like so. We're putting the O-ring back on. Then you take the Teflon seal, okay? It's slightly harder compound, which means it's more brittle. You're gonna wanna take some oil, lube it up, just a little bit. Since the Teflon seal is, uh, it's not rubber really, it's some different compound, you want it to, it's gonna lose its form a little bit once you're putting it on, right? So to make it get its form back, you're going to want to carefully and gently put it back into the area that this piston came out of. Very gently put it in so it would pretty much take its shape back. It's going to be a little difficult, but it needs to absorb its new shape for it to sit properly. Okay, it's in. Let it sit there for about a minute and let it absorb. Let it form properly. Meanwhile, let's just uh, undo this guy then. It's gonna be pretty much the same exact thing, except um, I think it's gonna have an extra set of rings that we have to put on. But it's the same exact idea. Let it sit there for a little bit for now. Absorb its new shape, okay? Take it in, become what it needs to be. But while you're at it, take this cap off with the help of a friend because <laughs> you can't do it alone. So once you get the exhaust side out, uh, this one by then, in theory, should be good and formed. And it seems like it is, right? So now, clean it up, make sure there's no debris on it, no debris. Lube it up again, boom, that's it. And then put it in the correct size. Make sure it goes in nice and easy. Don't haul at it, just go gently, run it back and forth to see if it's good. Boom. Seems to be doing well, that's good. But I forgot, we have another seal in there that we need to change. Anyway, for this one, for the exhaust one, it's literally the exact same thing except there's two sets. Now there's gonna be one in the middle, and there's gonna be one up top. In the meantime, these caps that you have, you can replace the O-rings on those. Same thing, you just wanna cut them, remove them, uh, replace them. Boom. Clean up this whole area first before you apply the new seal, the new O-ring. Clean it up. So it'd be going in on a nice clean surface. Boom. That one is on. Sweet. Same thing on this side. So the exhaust one, right? The exhaust side, the exhaust piston. Uh, as we've shown previously, to remove them, you just use, you cut them out, you cut the seals out, whatever. Uh, and then you put the new ones in, except on the exhaust one, you're gonna have an extra set of seals, okay? This one, you can take a hose clamp, put it on around it, leave it for a few minutes or a minute or so, so it absorb, you know, it's, it make its, it create its uh, shape, and then you can put it back in. Before we do that though, the intake side has a couple seals in there, right? So they're gonna be vice versa. They're gonna be the O-ring and then the, uh, the Teflon ring, okay? For that to go in, it's gonna be kind of a pain but you could use some sort of pick tool or something. You could use a pick to get them out. They're right in there. You could clean this whole area with brake cleaner or something. Before you do that, it's gonna be easier to see. Um, it's gonna be right up in there. 
You're gonna remove that and then put the O-ring and then the Teflon seal. So I figured out a way to do this. Um, pretty much you take a little razor like this and you get in there and you just try to cut that Teflon seal apart and sooner or later it will. It'll start coming out. You can use some sort of tweezer tools, you know, you could pull that out or so. There you go, see, there, there goes the Teflon ring. Uh, and now the O-ring, really, we've taken out the seals from the inside of the intake one, right? That was real difficult. We have pretty much we created a little, we took a needle, we bent the tip of it, we had to poke it through and pick it out pretty much. Now the fun part, putting it back in. You want to take the O-ring and you want to make sure... This is going to be fun also, man. Straight up. Okay, see? That, oop, that slid in and slid right out. So you're gonna have to really mess with this for a little while to get it in. But there, almost. It'll take some time. Don't rush, because you'd rather have your Vanos running good, right? Just like that, nice, the O-ring is in. Okay, now, the fun part, okay? Teflon seal. Take it just like that. Very gentle though. You don't want it to really take this form for too long. Right? Put it over the O ring just like that and let it kind of do its thing. Help it out. Hold it from one side and push on it. Take your intake piston, lube it up a little bit. Sure goes in nice and easy. It's lubed up. Okay. We now could put the caps back on. Boom. Cap is on. This one. You only go in a certain way, so. Whoop. This guy's done. While we're over here, we're gonna take this this guy out. We'll just pull on him. We're gonna replace the seals on this guy as well. There's only two. There's two O-rings. Okay. What you wanna do? Same thing. Just cut him out. Pull them out however you want to. There we go. Take a matching one that's roughly the same size. Okay. Put it right over. Boom, this seal is on. Next one. Boom. Good. Boom. That is in. Lube it up. Remember, in an engine, lube is your best friend. Boom, that's sitting nice and flush. Now we're moving on to the splines. Remember those? You just put the rattle kit repair on them. Okay, so pretty much, the one with the longer shaft goes on the exhaust side, as the one with the shorter shaft, it goes on to the intake side. So we're gonna want to put those back on now. Remember, it's reverse thread. Okay, take your size seven and size 10 mil. Open end wrenches, hold one side, tighten them. They, you don't have to put too much force on them because they will tighten on their own since it's left, it's a reverse thread.